Welcome to the Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Great panelists with topical issues, no old bad. We tell it like it is. Today on the Advocate, we have Elijah Felix in the studio and of course Bola Yaya and myself, Inigbi Victoria Modu, will be taking the lead. Nigeria at 64, youth consent. As Nigeria celebrates its 64th independence anniversary, the federal government promises youth inclusion with the launch of a 30-day national youth conference. This initiative aims to address challenges like education, employment, and innovation with 2,000 CNG tricycles set to be distributed to youth in the informal transport sector. But amidst this, many young Nigerians ask, is this enough? With soaring economic instability and hardship, unemployment rates, inadequate education systems, and limited global competitiveness. The youth are demanding more than quick fixes. Can these initiatives truly provide long-term solutions to Nigeria's growing economic and social crisis? Hmm. Fellow advocates, Hi. well, uh, first of all, how are we doing, you know? Uh, Nigeria at 64. Well. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nigeria, Nigeria right? Nigeria's birthday, actually. You know that Nigeria is actually more than 64 years. And we know oh, now yeah. what they're doing. Independence, yeah. you know. Exactly. The independence, not the birthday. Every From guy. 1914, so... Well, that is by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they are they existing before independence. Bola, how are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. well done. Um, Felix. Yeah. How are you? It's good to see you. So, how do you celebrate your independence? You have to check up on us. You yeah, have check up on my own. No, truly. We really need to check up how on each other. How did you celebrate your independence? By Me? Um, okay, so I had this event. So, I went for a one tribe cultural oh, event. Yeah, 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 you know. That's one. Nigeria and independence. You, we are there with all your steeds exactly, and charisma. Exactly. Precisely. <laughs> as the gala princess that I am. Okay, so back to you know, Nigeria at 64, you know, youth content. Um, so, right, we, I know we all followed up with the news. Um, we saw the old initiative about the tricycle yeah. you know, issue, distribution of tricycle. So what do you really think? Do you think it genuinely, you know, addresses the Nigeria's youth issues? Well, I would say that's more like a belly rub. <laughs> massage. Yes, that's more like a belly, not a massage. I think a massage is deeper. This is a belly rub, just a mm, surface scratch. Okay. So, if you want to um, address issues that concerns the youth, it goes deeper than giving out um, tricycles Precisely. and bags of rice. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're well, used to bags of rice. We'll be eating <laughs> rice since God knows when. <laughs> Thank you very much but, for but that. But otherwise, the rice has not grown. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, At like, every day I have to check. <laughs> and anytime I see something on the news and I see bags of rice, and I have to check bag properly. Rice, mm -hmm. This bag of rice, exactly. why are they sharing it too? Exactly. So, it's more like, our situation is beyond bags of rice. Mm -hmm. Our situation is a situation you have to look in depth and be Precisely. strategic mm -hmm. as a leader to mm -hmm. confront, you understand? Yeah. So, Elijah, what are your thoughts? Well, you have not said it. You, are, you have said it all. You can't say it more better than mm -hmm. how you said it. Because, you know, I have a concern about how government solve problem. That's what we call needs assessment, needs yeah. analysis. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the government always implements. But first and foremost, let me commend him, at least the president. The commander in chief, mm -hmm. uh, President Bola Metinubu, let's just commend him at least, mm -hmm. showing concern for young people. Yeah. Because that, that was basically the focus. Mm -hmm. This yeah. year's independence was basically in his speech, yeah. he was more concerned about, about the young the people. Youth. But beyond being just concerned about the young people, can we work with workable plans, mm. strategic plans, sustainable plans? When it comes to youth development, it's beyond massaging the problem, sharing right. bag of rice, giving money, or yeah. giving tricycles. It's a good that, one. But like you know, not, uh, really not every Nigerian exactly. youth means. <laughs> it's good, not, it's that tricycle is not meant for every Nigerian. Yeah, Nigerian exactly. youth is beyond tricycle. Like, yeah. what I mean is, 
there are a lot of youths that are in other highly sectors, skilled, yes. highly yes. skilled. So you can't just youth produce us. That can, uh, they are doing intellectual sectors. stuff. So mm. what are you doing about, about those ones? Yeah. Are there enabling opportunities for mm -hmm. those that are already doing things those, in the professional yes, sector, yes. Yes. not just the informal sector? So yes, they should yes. think holistically yeah, exactly. and sustainably to win this Yes, I think that, you know, Bola, Elijah, you've actually made great points. and which is also i'll just take it up from where you you stopped right so i think that these initiatives are commendable very commendable very. but then we need to go deeper you know deeper than the 30 days conference and we'll come oh, to that the that tricycle <laughs> you know <laughs> the yeah. beyond all of this the rise of you know five thousand era to me what we're beyond that right? we have deeper issues we have the issues of spot. unemployment we have the issues of unemployment. Um, what, underemployment we have the issues of economic instability there's hardship no there's, you know there's lack of infrastructure yeah. so so it's deeper than just throwing tricycle on our, at our faces um just stick uh, and bag of you rice. know and, and bag of rice so it, it's really deeper than that so if we can invest or rather if the government you know can invest in these areas invest in our education i, I didn't even mention that invest in our High economy skills. In, in you know in our skills you know and also the infrastructure as well so by so doing, number one, you're creating sustainable development and growth. And then it would also enhance and foster and ensure that Nigerian youth, you know, live up to or are able to stand, you know, in the global space, global space. and, you know, be Complete global citizens. Precisely, yeah, precisely. Sure, sure. Yeah, so I want to talk about the 30 day conference, you know, thingy, right? Good one, Mr. President. Commendable, you have us in mind. You know, we, we appreciate, we acknowledge it. But. No, there's so many conversations around this. So, what do you think? Thirty day conference. We see, as I mean, uh, we we are well. We are. I, I don't want. Is it well? Ex, is it experienced? Or we've got to the point where we know that there are conferences. Conferences are not new again in the, in this country, Nigeria. So we know they keep holding conferences oh, over and sure. over oh, again, sure. and we don't see the required outcome. Or the results from these conferences so what are your takes okay so um i remember during the time of Odisha gun over and joe i think that was around 2005 or between 2005 and 2007 i can't remember the exact year i'm, I'm going to check on it but i knew around 2005 6 7 during that period um, there was this national reform con national reform conference right mm. obasanjo had um, various all stakeholders and think tank, political and socio economic think tank, okay. to come and talk about development, the economy, and the country holistically. And then from Obas and Joe time to Yaradwa, okay, Yaradwa, you know, Yaradwa, well, he tried in his time, but I think good luck took, up, took from there when they introduced the, is it Confab? Mm. Right? Confab, Confab yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they had conversations around this and you understand. So, no, 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 sorry, not Confab. It's Buhari that is Confab. Good luck was Reform Nigeria. Okay. Reform, Ni rebrand Nigeria, sorry. It was rebrand Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Where Dora Quinley was the Minister of uh, Information at that time. Okay. So, Obas and Joe's time was Reform Nigeria. Dora Quinley, that is uh, under uh, here at Dua and Good luck. It was rebrand Nigeria. Okay. And the person, the spearhead was actually. The Minister of Information at that time, that's Dora Kuyili, she did very well. Okay. And then when it came to Buhari, President Buhari time, it was it was National Confab. Mm -hmm. So it's just the semantics in name, but actually the aims the same were thing. similar. Mm -hmm. yes. But you know, a lot of experts has come and said that a lot of, when I mean experts, I mean political and economic experts mm -hmm. in the country, they've come aside and said that, okay, most of these things being talked about, there is little or no implementation on this, no mm -hmm. political will. In fact, there is little things. or no result. Now, coming to President Tunubu's time, I like the fact that, you know, if it, the difference between what he's trying to do and what these other people have done in time past, you there's a similarity right. and there's a difference. Now, let me tell you the similarity. The similarity is that there's opportunity for conversations, mm. healthy national conversation that will channel and re-strategize and realign and re-channel the nation. Mm. That's the intention. Yeah. But the difference here is that the first three, from President Obasanjo to President Yeradua, good luck, to President uh, Buhari, mm -hmm. this we are just on a broader scale. No focus on youth was just generally. Okay. But President Tunubuna is being intentional now about the youth. This is a youth conference, so let, let's call it the first of its kind. Mm. Now, my concern with this is that I'm not going to say it's not 
you shouldn't do that. He should if he wants to. It's good. But beyond doing that, let's can he borrow a leave from what has happened before? Like can mm. he go back in time? And check the record of from President Olusegun Obasanjo time mm. to present yeah, Adwa President. Good luck mm. and President Buhari. In their time they did something similar, even though it was not necessarily youth focus yes. alone. But what did they do? Why couldn't they implement some of those things? What did they implement and what what couldn't they implement? And then see how you could address some of these things and then bring it down to this one. Generation. Then they will know how to see how to do um, do this uh, youth conference. It has to be done properly. And then when it comes to youth selection, I hope it's not going to be politically... Uh, we should not be like a, just Sen a mere political censored. event. No, it should not be a political event. It should not be okay. an opportunity for political party holders, okay, especially the ruling party. That goes to, to, like, to um, questions that we have that what are the selection uh, processes? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't yeah. be about, these it shouldn't be about the ruling party or a certain party yeah. or yeah. Uh, political um, benefactors. Yeah, there no. was a mention oh. about them, getting delegates. How do you intend for the delegates? I think what I would suggest the to the government is that I know when they talk about these things, they should not be one. See, the problem is that most times when it comes to development, all hands have to be on decks. Precisely. But the mistake that most of our leaders make is that they always look at political solution, mm, political yes. people. Not everybody will be in, in the politics per se, even though Precisely. it's good for everyone to be involved one way or the other knowledgeably politics. about the politics and policies. Mm -hmm. But you might not directly be a player. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, there are other young persons that are involved in economy, mm -hmm. in development, other mm -hmm. aspects, oh, other yeah, sector of yeah. the economy, other, other aspects of the country. Can you mm -hmm. allow these people, give, give them, them a chance, chance to sit at the table with the political actors and mm -hmm. then fast solution and in selection i think they should throw it open i think they can they, they have a lot of nigerian intelligent nigerians both home and abroad mm. people that are well accomplished young persons they can actually mm -hmm. throw it open you go online you apply state your accomplishments mm. send if you need to send your cv or other things you've done and then oh, there should be a panel that will select panel of fair and enlightened judges that will select these people and that will represent mm. various uh, interests and constituency both mm -hmm. from the political side and the professional side yeah, and the informal sector. It has to be a balanced that works, peak, right? Yeah, and from, yeah, it should be holistic. That should work. Okay. I pray they implement that too. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, right. Um, so, so far, we've discussed about, you know, the Nigeria independence. You know, we're 64 now. Happy birthday once again, Nigeria. Even if Felix is going to say not happy birthday. Nigeria is more than 64 years. We are you wonder that the... Officially, officially. No. <laughs> Yeah, more than that, 64. Officially, was 64. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we've discussed so far about some of the conversations surrounding, you know, Nigeria at 64, you know, the involvement of youth in, you know, politics or in governance, as we've seen from the president's speech and his intention to involve youth, the 30-day conference, and then the distribution of tricycle, you know, youth development, ETC. So... Right, we've discussed and we're hoping that the government, you know, listens to our suggestions and are able to apply some of these suggestions into their act actions or activities. Right, so Elijah Felix would be next after the break. Do stay tuned. Thank you.